Welcome to My Tiny Bottles, the series where I explore my grandmother's legacy of miniature liquor bottles, one tiny bottle at a time. I'm your host, Tammy Coxon. Unlike many of the bottles where it's hard to pinpoint even a general time period, I can say pretty confidently that this tiny bottle was made sometime between 1976 and 1979. Check out the blog post about this bottle on mytinybottles.com if you want to know all about the bottle dating nerdiness I used to figure that out. But since I know that's what it's from, what was it like back then? By all reports, probably not great. As a brand, Black Bottle Scotch started in 1879, the project of an Aberdeen tea blending family named Graham. While it was initially packed in black glass bottles, like you'd expect, they were sourcing those from Germany. When World War I broke out, that was no longer cool, so they switched to the same green glass that my bottle has. From its launch until 1959, one site I found described it as one of Northeast Scotland's best kept whiskey secrets. As a blended whiskey, it would have been a mix of both malt and grain whiskies, but a high portion of the blend would have been from the Aberdeenshire area, which is apparently known for having really rich and peaty whiskies. This all changes in 1959. The post-World War II period was a boom time for Scotch in the US. The UK had massive debts to pay off from the war, and by 1954, 75% of all Scotch whiskey production was being exported. Most of that was flowing into the US, where, thanks to the dual hit of Prohibition and World War II, American whiskey was still pretty terrible. And in 1959, perhaps needing to feed US consumer demand, Shenley Industries bought Gordon Graham and Company Limited, aka Black Bottle Scotch. This reportedly led to a decline in quality as the brand became more of a standard blended whiskey along the lines of Dewar's, Cuddy Sark, J&B, the kind of labels they would have been competing against. The company was sold again in 1990, and this time into a very different Scotch landscape, a little lull between the last boom time and the one that was still to come. I know there are at least a few more Scotch bottles in these boxes, so I'm going to save the story about the boom for a future bottle. In the meantime, if you'd like to taste some for yourself, the brand was relaunched in 2013, supposedly inspired by the original 1879 recipe, and once again, in a black bottle. If you enjoyed this video, please like or comment below. Want to see more? Hit the subscribe button. You can also check out mytinybottles.com for all that bottle dating nerdiness I was talking about, uh, as well as a deeper dive into each bottle, including blogs and podcasts. And finally, follow My Tiny Bottles on all your socials.